dreams for basketball, what would you say? Where do you want to go with it? Uh, I look for college at ACC. ACC to play in the ACC? Yeah. Um, go ahead. Pac-12, like Oregon. When did you start playing basketball? I started playing basketball when I was eight years old. About eight. You believe you can, uh, you can make it as the first first Chinese guard into the NBA? Is that is that is that kind of your goal? Do you do you think you can do that? It's my dream. How'd you learn about uh, Hamden Rose Academy? It's a good academic school. Why did you decide to come to here? To play basketball and uh, study English. Place so you yeah. came as an eighth grader. No, come here as a freshman. As a freshman? Yeah. Did you, was it like you just researched on the internet for good academic schools or how did someone from Hampton Roads come to China or how did it kind of uh, come, come about to find out about the school? There is a IE company, you know, for the exchange students. Mm -hmm. So the school is pretty fit for me to come. After basketball, what's your what's your goal? What do you want to do after basketball is done? After you finish playing basketball, what 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 do you want to do? I have a single one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like a major in college or anything you you you're interested in? Uh, pretty good at math, so <laughs> yeah. What 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 math are you in right now? Calculus. Geometry. Geometry. Yeah. We well, probably took that in the third grade in China, right? Yeah, <laughs> I took algebra first. Then. Any interesting stories about you growing up that uh, just like anything kind of comes to mind? Any anything interesting? Grow up, I watched Yao Ming play when I was younger. Uh, that's my first. I watched the first NBA game is Yao Ming play, and I feel I love to watch it. Then I just play the basketball. I love. To play basketball. And there's on Facebook that uh, you're Christian. Yeah, I am a Christian. When did you when, have you have you been your whole life, or you just uh, uh, became? My grandmother was Christian, and uh, I went to a Christian school when I was eighth grade. Mm -hmm. In China? No, in America. In America, yeah. okay. W was that with your grandma? No, just by myself. What what school was that? Um, it's called American Christian Academy. Where is that? In Pennsylvania? It's uh, Alabama. Alabama? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you went there. Did you play basketball there? Yeah. Was it a um, was it a like a, a more of a basketball school or was it high academics or what? What was the? Just uh, used to the culture well, learning the English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking. How did you hear about that school? The. How did you learn about the, the American Christian Academy? It's the same thing, like I said, IE company. Oh, the IE yeah. company local, in China. Yeah, the local school, like such like that. So you gotta tell me, what are your thoughts on the whole, the whole Jeremy Lin and Lin Sanity? What are your thoughts on that? I thought it's amazing what they did. Yeah, it surprised me a little bit. Before, before you came to America, growing up, I guess, what what player did you look up to? Uh, in the in the NBA or yeah, in the NBA. Before you before you got to America, who was the player you looked up to? I like to watch Chris Paul play. Chris Paul. Steve Nash. And so that's why you became a point guard because uh, watching Chris Paul and Steve yeah. Nash. And Dwayne Wade. And Dwayne Wade. Yeah. Did uh so did you study their moves a lot? How would you do go on YouTube or would you do to study their moves? Sometimes I watch on YouTube. I like watched. Doing way aggressive, tagging the ball to the hoop, the first step, right. pretty fast. How did you? How did you get the? How did you? How did you jump so high? Where did you? Did you work a lot on jumping when you were young, or is it all natural? I think I worked a little bit with just jump real, work out, doing the self like no more. Player did. Right, right. Jump rope, work out. Yeah. Um, how did you like growing up in China? Where are you? Where are you from in China? Uh, close to Shanghai. Close to Shanghai. Yeah. Where? Are you, how did you like growing up in China? A, a lot. A lot of people down there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> how many? It's a lot. 
If you go into the street somewhere, it's gonna be everywhere. I mean, <laughs> and uh, a lot of people like to play basketball, a lot of street ball, you know, going on. Did you play a lot of street ball growing up? Sometimes during weekend, so. Yeah, it may help make you tougher, or. Yeah, learn different things. Right. So how's it? What's it? Talk about what it's like being away from home since you've been in the eighth grade, away from I guess away from your parents. How's that? Has that been kind of a struggle, or you ever get homesick? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you like it here in America? Yeah, I do. Um, do you still get to see your parents quite often, or talk to them through email? Through email. Yeah. What do your parents do in China? What is their job? My dad works for government. My mom is the doctor. Your mom's a doctor and mm -hmm. your dad works for the government? Yeah. How tall are your parents? My dad about 6'4". My mom about 5'8". Yeah. So what, how, tall do you, how tall are you expected to grow? Uh, I like to grow like 6'4", just like my dad. 6'4"? Yeah, 6'4". Do you think you're going to... Does your doctor say how tall you're going to grow? or? I haven't done anything like that, but uh, I think I'm still growing, you know. Yeah. How tall are you now? Six two and a half. And how much do you weigh? 185 pounds. Did you have a trainer in China that worked on you with basketball or working out or lifting weights? I work out with the team in China, play for the school. For the school? Did yeah. you guys travel a lot or how did, how did that work? Uh, we have two big games per year probably. And other time just practicing. Well, how old were you when you had your first dunk? Well, I was sixth grade. Sixth grade? Yeah. In a game? No, just uh, doing no more dunks. Have you been invited to play for any of the Chinese national teams? Uh, I mean, I, I probably should, I could, but I, I, I live, live in China so young. Right, right. Yeah. Do you ever buy but you don't so you don't ever ever go back in the summers or uh I, I go back uh probably every summer. Ever wanna go back and play for China national team or in in, in the professionally in China? That that would be good. I play for the national team one day. All right. Who would you compare your game to? In the NBA or college or Dwayne Wade probably. Dwayne Wade? Yeah. How was your English when you first came over? Uh, my English not so great. I just can talk uh, like like how are you? All right. Something like that. But Very right basic now, when you first yeah, came. Basic English. Your parents grew up playing any sports, or they were they any any? Where did the they do any athletic? Were they pretty athletic? My dad was uh, play basketball. My mom is running track. Where's your dad? Who'd your dad play basketball for? For the army in China. He played for the army in China. Yeah. And your mom ran track. Who'd she run track for? Just for schools, for for, for the cities. How many hours a day did you play? Uh, growing when you turned eight, about how many hours a day did you spend playing basketball? Probably just about four hours per day. But if there is no school, I like going pretty much a lot. How long was school? Was school like morning to night in China or what? Yeah, it's just different from here, you know. Uh, it's from probably 8 o'clock to 6. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m.? Yeah. yeah. So you didn't sleep? <laughs> I, <laughs> then after that, I just eat dinner and practice. Go to bed, same thing every day. Yeah. Uh, how old are you right now? Just 10, 16. When did you turn 16? January 10th. January 10th? Yeah. Okay. Um, what's it like playing for Boo Williams, one of the best AAU teams in the country? It's a great program. Are you, are you staying with the Boo Williams organization for the next couple of years? You're staying? I, I think so. Still play for them this summer. Any, any basketball honors you won while you are in China or, or over here that, that are notable? I went to the junior NBA two years ago. The junior NBA? Yeah. Where was that? New Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah. What What was that about? It's just a... Uh, uh, 
have people organize uh, some player, watch the All Star game, then doing some practice with the uh, NBA player. Okay. It's great experience. Right, right, right. Yeah. Did um when you went on a trip to Maryland, how was that? What t t tell us about the trip you had to Maryland? It's it's great to see UNC play Maryland. Then I like the fans. I like everything. Did uh what did what did coach uh, is it Bino Coach Bino that spoke with you? Coach Ranson. Yeah, the coach. The black the black guy. Yeah yeah I, I remember him. <laughs> what did they tell you? What did the coaches at Maryland? What did they tell you? Just listen, listen to my, listen to my coach. Keep, keep working out. Right. Keep practicing. Anything else? They they say they wanted to recruit you hard or. They, they, uh, pretty sure they will. Come watch me play some games. Yeah, just see. Mhm. Mm how I'm doing. What about what other schools are recruiting you right now? Interest. Yeah. I got a lot. Is that like some of the some of the ones that stand out? Like, couple more like Virginia Tech, Virginia, mm -hmm. Davidson, VCU. The VCU. When did they yeah. call? Did they call recently? Not recently. But Virginia, um, Virginia Tech is pretty. Right. They did call. Some. They did call. Yeah. Did uh? What about Harvard? Did they ever get in contact with you? No. No. <laughs> They probably maybe they call you a coach. I don't know. Okay.